The Discovery Center of Springfield will host the 33rd Annual Festival of Trees on Friday the 20th. The event aims to combine spreading holiday cheer and raising money for the center. Executive Director Rob Blevins joins us now to talk about precautions put in place to keep everyone safe and allow for the annual event to still happen. Rob, thank you so much for being here. Super happy to be chatting with you. So, okay, in order for this event to happen, the Discovery Center has had to implement new safety measures, including COVID testing for each attendee and every staff member at the event. Uh, what went into making this happen and what will this look like? Well, I, first off, I think it's pretty exciting because uh, not about, it was about a month ago when we were trying to decide if having a festival of trees virtually was going to be beneficial to the center. It's really hard um to, to to bid on a tree um, and spend over a thousand dollars sometimes on something that you haven't seen in person uh so i think getting to hold it is is really great but the what changed all of that was uh conversations with dynamic dna um austin o'reilly's company he uh, is able to do a full pcr test using the nih standards and protocols um, and turn that test results around in just hours and so it allows us to know um, whether or not uh, we think that somebody has the, the coronavirus, COVID-19, that night and uh, allows people to let their guard down a little bit. We're still going to be doing masking and social distancing. Um, the, the spacing of the event, we're not going to have the same capacity that we've had with it, um, but everybody's going to be able to let their guard down, enjoy some delicious food by Hinode, listen to holiday music, um, and uh, enjoy some drinks together. I mean, the testing aspect of it is just incredible. You know, the speed of, of the testing. Um, is this one of the first charity events to, uh, to do this? Well, I did some internet research and as far as I can tell, I can't find another gala that's advertised that they're doing complete COVID testing for all of their attendees and staff um, anywhere on the internet. So I don't know uh, where that place is. Uh, or in field um, or in the Ozarks happening, uh, but it could potentially be nationwide or worldwide at this point. So you mentioned some of the different things that will be happening at the event. Um, a celebrity teacher is actually going to be giving a presentation. Who is it and what will she be talking about? Yeah, her name is Mackenzie Adams and um, she got famous from um, doing a TikTok video on her virtual teaching. She, she filmed herself while she was teaching and interacting with some students and uploaded the clip. And I guess the next day, um, one of her friends was like, hey, one of your videos went viral. Um, but so she's at kindergarten in Washington, the state of Washington, and her enthusiasm and love for teaching her students and engaging them, um, even while virtual, is uh, heartwarming. Um, it's, uh, it's just incredible the, the amount of energy that she pours into this. And you really have to watch the videos like 20 million other people have in the world. Uh, they watch these and they just can't believe um, the type of passion that she brings to education. And so she's going to be coming. Um, so we both have some viral videos, the Discovery Center for our pivot in uh, offering emergency childcare um, when all the schools close down and then uh, her videos. So between us, we have, you know, approximately 3 million um, views on our videos. So it's going to be a, kind of a fun night in that respect. It will be fun. So this is a fundraising event. Where will the money go? So right now we, we did give out um, over $600,000 in free childcare through that response program. So our scholarship funds um, are basically depleted at this point. And so we're looking for uh, funds to help continue putting kids through our educational programs can you, to continue to support them and their needs. Um, and eventually, uh, you know, the other needs that, that will pop up when it comes to STEM education um, in the classrooms and, and those needs, we want to have the money there for when those needs are, are asked for. Um, there's definitely opportunity to use those funds immediately to, to help kids. Absolutely. Can you kind of explain to viewers why it's so important to make STEM education more accessible to kids? Well, for some kids, they're not necessarily going to be able to learn at the level that we as a society, as parents, as adults, want them to learn at if they're not um, aging all of their senses in the learning process. Um, and so STEM education as a whole, um, we look at what we provide there, 
uh, most of our careers. Um, the governor of Missouri recently, when he was uh, doing a press conference with us in 2019, said that of, of the kids in the room, the jobs that they're going to have haven't even been created yet. And that's where we're at as a society. We're, we're rapidly changing with technology advancement. Um, kids that aren't getting that learning now are going to be at a deficit when it comes to entering the workforce. And as a community, when we have when we have adults that grew up as kids that weren't educated properly in STEM, um, we're really setting ourselves up as a community for, for failure. Um, so from that viewpoint, that's really important. But um, more than that, our hands-on learning that we do in combination with our STEM learning um, reinforces that and really helps uh, create these, these memorable, engaging experiences that, that propel learning forward and inspire kids out of poverty to um, good paying jobs. Absolutely. So, you know, you mentioned that the Discovery Center kind of had to pivot uh, what they were doing, um, you know, adapted to the challenges of COVID-19. Do you have any update on the center's free child care or uh, learning support for Springfield Public School kids? Yeah, so we're still offering learning support um, on Wednesdays. Uh, we're still offering that. And then we're also, we've launched um, Discovery Tutoring. And that's where we're going to be able to work with kids on getting them caught up and current on their subjects. Um, and I know that the, there's a lot of, there are a lot of other parents that I talk to where they're not really comfortable teaching the level of math that their kid's at, um, cause math changed quite a bit. Well, we have tutors that can help them get caught up and, 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 and help them figure out where they need to go with that. Um, some of the software can be tricky to figure out what all is missing. Um, so maybe we'll communicate with the, the teachers for these kids and, and really find out what they need to, to start working on and get them caught up. I think that's that's pretty exciting. And of course, we still have our Discovery School um, program going uh, here at the center and at our Everest College building as well. Okay, Rob, so real quick, where can people go for more information? The easiest place to get information these days is definitely online, and that's at discoverycenter.org. And you can go to either slash learn to find out more about all of our learning programs, um, if you're interested in signing up for free tutoring right now, we're offering that to the public at no cost to help get everybody caught up. Um, and we hope to continue offering that. All right, Rob, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll have more Ozarks tonight coming up after the break.